wooden stake. So I, your sunflower is on a stake, which you could use to put into the ground just for ease of this video. I took my sunflower off the stake um, just so I could paint it a little easier for you to show you. So the first step I like to do in my sunflower is I'm gonna grab a pencil. And in addition to your kit, you're gonna need a paper towel and some water to clean your brush. I have that off the camera here and a pencil so and something circular so what I like to do is I'm taking a old bowl and I am going to trace the center of my sunflower so there we have our guide to make our sunflower so I'm going to keep my sunflower relatively simple you have yellow green and black paint so I'm going to do around the outside yellow and then I'll make a little brown to add some details and then I'll do this black and then sponge some brown so for your first step you either need a sponge brush or your regular paintbrush and just make sure mine's not so clean yours is probably clean I am just cleaning that just so it's clean and I'm going to do my yellow first so I'm just going to take some yellow and start painting all my little petals and around that circle yellow. If I get into my circle, that is okay. And I'm gonna do my edges as I do this. So I'm gonna paint it twice. I'm gonna put one coat, let it dry for a couple minutes, and then go back and put a second coat.
I put two coats on my sunflower. If you want to go back, you could always put a third coat. I'm going to leave it at two coats. As it dries, it's going to get a little more solid coverage. So while I'm for it to dry, I want to make some brown. So I would use the cap of your yellow paint. And what I like to do is I put a little yellow. And then I'm going to put a tiny bit of black. And you're just going to stir it around until it gets almost like a little browny, greeny color. That's a-okay. So it's just like a shade darker of that yellow and I'm just going to add like a little yellow brownish accents around that circle. So I am just going to take my brush or my sponge brush and I'm just going to add just a few like little strokes going around that circle. my brush and with a clean brush I'll just blend that yellow and that darker yellow together and I'm doing this with no paint on my brush it's just going to add a little detail to our petals and if you don't have, like how this looks you could always just go over it with some yellow All right, so that looks good to me. So at this point, I'm gonna wash out my brush. If you're having, if you're using a sponge brush, you'll just really need to squeeze out some of that water. And I am just going to do, hopefully you could see your lines, but I am going to do that middle circle black. So take your time, go around those lines. And if it's not perfect, that's okay. So I'm gonna let that circle dry, and then when it's dry, I'm gonna go back and put a second coat on. I put my second coat on my black so that looks pretty good so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make a little darker brown so I'm adding I just want to make my yellow has a lot of white in it it's a little different than the yellow that you have so I'm just trying to make it a different that looks like it's gonna look like a greeny green like a brown so then, and now is a fun time, you can take your paintbrush, and we are just going to, or your sponge, actually. You should have a yellow sponge. You're gonna take your sponge. I like to dip it in that brown. 
and I am just going to add texture on top of my black circle. So my, the black center of a sunflowers has all those seeds in it, so this is just gonna give it a little texture. So I like to just dab some of that color on. If you like, you could even dab just a little yellow, and as it mixes with our black, you're gonna get a little brown. It browned and grays. You just want a little texture in the middle of that sunflower. Try and stay in that line, in the lines as best you can. If you get a little outside, I think that kind of looks nice when you get a little outside. If it gets too light in a certain area, you could always put a little more black on top. You kind of experiment going back and forth. So there I have my texture. At this point, since my, I'm gonna start painting my steak, my garden steak, a green. It's gonna say blue, but it's green. And as you paint the garden steak, just be careful that you go around that flower. So take your time. You're probably gonna need two coats. I would definitely do the front and the sides of the steak. You don't have to worry about it that much in the back. So just paint that green. It's not as a smooth texture, so you'll have to make sure you get in all those little areas. So once you paint your garden steak, you could add any details to your sunflower you like, but once you're finished painting, you're gonna let it dry. And then once it's all dry, it's perfectly okay to put it out in your garden. I hope you guys had fun painting with me and I hope you have a great summer.